We're gonna drop you off and go. You can have a little staycation. And so much love and attention and playtime and snacks and everything, okay? You're gonna be well taken care of. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> I'll see you later. It's okay. It's gonna be okay, okay? It's gonna be now it's time for the parents to be on vacation. We'll see you in like 48 hours. staying in the Karlsruhe hot spring. So what you may know is Napa Valley. It's a very famous winery in the US. But where we're going today is Karlsruhe, which is one of the wine regions around that area, which is north of Napa. And then before we get to Karlsruhe, we are going to check out one destination first. Up and over. <laughs> You've never ridden before? No. <laughs> and hours of driving we are finally at our hotel Calistoga Hot Springs so here are the different pools in the hotel there is a kiddie pool all the way there which is for kids under six years old and then this is the main pool that is around 80 degrees and there are two pools in the very back one is 100 degrees and then obviously a 104 degree Ooh, nice so after about a 10 minute break we are on our way again to the first winery visit what's the name it's a uh, bennett lane winery it's a uh northern Napa so it's like really warm good for Zinfandels so one great thing about living in California is that you have really quick access to lots of really great wineries and even if you don't like wine in general the winery themselves is just so pretty and so relaxing to visit so another great thing is almost always really really warm now I think it's around like high 60s almost 70 degrees versus in San Francisco the weather is always around like early 50s we are here Bennett Lane winery look at all the vineyards look at this view it's just unbeatable like even if you don't drink Okay, we just went to this winery and they unfortunately didn't allow any video recording so we didn't record any video we are gonna head out for dinner behind me is all the pools and they are essentially filled with just mineral water coming down from the hot springs in northern california oh, it's very loud here. in northern california it's really hard to find natural mineral water hot springs and castoga is one of the very very few places to have it that's why this has been a very popular spot for tourists to come Ooh, there's a duck hat. 
hash and salmon benedict. That sounds really good. I think I'm gonna get that. Okay. Cheers. <sighs> Breakfast pizza. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm, the cheese. That was a really big fat brunch. We ordered two entrees and one cocktail. It actually was only around $60. So it was cheaper than we thought it was. But that's eating outside of San Francisco for you where everything is just one notch cheaper. So now we're gonna walk back to our hotel and chill for a little bit and then come out for our 1 p.m. tasting at where? Uh cluster something and it's something, it's something like difficult to pronounce <laughs> okay I and know. a difficult to pronounce winery <laughs> 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 A lot of the wineries in Napa have like a very huge salesman approach which kind of make you feel a little bit uncomfortable to like describe how you're tasting the wine especially when you feel like you're like obligated to use certain wine vocabulary to describe the wine so David and I prefer to go to wineries that are less commercialized and more private to make the experience a little bit more special wineries they like to usually start you off with a glass of rosé especially in the summer as well and now this is what we're going to start with okay. we'll start with a uh, Sauvignon Blanc and we've got a Chardonnay, Merlot and then a Cap very, very standard, standard California wine yeah. tasting beautiful winery and a beautiful day so pretty <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We decided to get a Sauvignon Blanc and then a Merlot to buy as bottles and now we have the opportunity to ask for a retasting of the Merlot as well so Cheers everybody! One good thing about going to wine tasting is you can always revisit any of the wine that you tasted before you decide if you want to make a purchase. That's what we always do. And also buy some time where you can just spend here for a little longer. So the salesman just came by and then basically asked us if we're interested in the wine club member, but no pressure. All right, for this wine club, it's between four and twelve dollars per quarter. Uh, for four dollars a quarter, it's about one hundred twenty dollars per per quarter. For twelve, it's about three hundred fifty dollars. You can pick like per mix bottle. of wine. So even though David and I drink a lot of wine on a regular basis, we don't join any of the wine club. That's because we. There isn't like a particular winery that we really really love but joining a wine club is pretty cost effective if you have like a winery that you really like and want to come revisit again because there's usually wine club member benefits for We are done with the first winery, now we're at the second winery This is a winery called Shamsburg which is actually right across from the really famous Napa Valley Big, big, big highway sign. Okay, come with me. In the summertime, hot day, very quaffable, really easy drink. I feel like he's got us he already. We were looking at the J Strong, which is. Um, <laughs> Can you explain what it is? 
So we just finished our tasting yeah, at got, Schramsberg. We got like a nice case. With that, we're gonna go back to our hotel and then go to dinner. Just my advice, I think two winery visits, it's like well enough for anyone who is visiting Napa. Um, if you overdo it, then you just get into a, a spot where you just can't really taste the wine anymore. Today is Monday morning and we are gonna do a final dip in the hot spring before we need to check out again at 11. Oh, there's a class there. Look, there's a class there. Because I know that you're always late, right? That's why at the end, yeah, sure we can get some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like to have influence on life. 